Hello everybody, this is Kevin from Klotz Productions and welcome back to a, well, something completely different today. Today I'm doing a thrifting haul video, but not just any haul video, this is going to be a blaster haul video, but we'll get back to that in a minute. I'm going to do a blaster haul video for which most of you all probably know as Nerf, Nerf blasters, but it's not just Nerf, mostly Nerf right now. I'm going to do a haul video that I got from thrifting and then I'm going to go through all my current guns, show you what I got kind of get a record of this is what I have today but to start up I got these that's why I'm wearing them these are um, face protection I think they're actually ski goggles I got them for two dollars goodwill I figure I need some face protection they give me a little bit orange color but if you're playing to have velocities you need your face protection so you don't hurt your eyes that's what these are let's get those off Ugh, and put my glasses back on don't need those anymore next thing I got that I didn't know that I needed was this. What is this? Well, let me open it up. I'll let you see. It's got some bolts. I'm not really sure how to hook them up, but it's a collapsible target. Comes up like this. And it's got multiple layers. Right here. And this will go through this hook up here button and I think there's a way to use those other rods to support the thing which I have not figured out yet but it's a target so I can shoot my nerf darts in here and they won't get lost or go some other place and plus they got different zones so if I hit a bullseye I'll know although I don't know how well that'll work but I was wanting some sort of net to catch my stuff and that's what this is so that was two bucks all that didn't know I wanted it or didn't know I needed it realized I did. Anyway, let's get into the actual blasters of the haul. I went to several different Goodwills and a couple other thrift stores and some stuff had things, some didn't. First store I went to, I actually got three blasters and they had blasters that had been there, but I decided to go ahead and pick them up because I've been there a few times and there are some pistols. So the first one is this Nerf Mega Big Shock. Got it for $1.50. Didn't come with any ammo, but it has a stock up here. To hold this, you load it up, cock it, fire, and those whistle as well, cock it, fire. It's pretty cool, it's simple. I didn't have any single shot pistols, so I got this one. Next up, we got a zombie strike something. I think it's called a sure shot, something like that. It doesn't actually say it on here. Uh, this one takes regular darts. Let me grab those. And again, these, none of these came with darts, but I got my own. I have some adventure zone darts here. Full length adventure zone, green darts. These actually come 200 for 10 bucks. Can't beat that. And so this, you just load one in the front. It's got three additional here that you can cock or hold in these three additional spots. Cock it here, fire, load. So it's just a single shot pistol. Like again, again, I don't have any single shot pistols, so I picked this up for $250, $249. The third one I got was the AccuStrike, AccuStrike Series Falcon Fire. This is another single shot. It has two spots here to load. So I'll just put those in here. Hold your extra shots. Oh, the, uh, the zombie one I forgot. It also has this extra spot down here. You can hold one extra shot. Uh, and then this, you cock it, there's a loader right here. You just put it in the breech or whatever. Not the breech, but in there. Seal it, fire. And then, to reload. Seal it back in there, fire. So, these are just average little Nerf guns. I think they shoot around 55, 60 FPS, something like that. So, I guess below a little, little below average, but... I'm probably going to put some strings, springs in them to make them stronger. And then the main thing I got is this. My Nerf Mega Cyclone Shock. I actually wanted one of these. And this actually takes these big darts that the other thing took. When you cock it, it rotates it. Actually, I need to move it over one. And then it just fires. But this has a pretty strong spring in it. So my intention, what I saw people online is to do, is to do a barrel replacement to where it'll actually shoot the regular size darts. So then you get a big powerful spring, regular size darts. 
So that is everything I got for my thrift today. This was $3 as well. I actually saw a second AccuStrike at another Goodwill for $2, but I didn't trust this out yet. Uh, I may go pick it back up if it's still there. I'm not sure, but I don't know if I really want to clutter everything up or not. But so I got this one, I got this one, I got this one, I got this one, got me a net, and my goggles. So that is what I picked up today for my thrifting haul. Now let's get into showing all the other Nerf guns that I have already. And there's quite a bit. I'm not going to give details on all of them, but I'm going to show them, show you what I got. So this is just my ammo box. I got um, some short darts in here, some rival shots, some batteries. It's just where I'm keeping the ammo. I have another box down here with a bunch of other darts, and of course I already showed you all this ammo that I have. So that's all I need for now. This is, what is this? This is the Adventure Force Enforcer. This is battery powered. You open it up here, put batteries in it, turn it on. It's a flywheel, shoots 40 shots. Each one you shot, shoot, shoots that, and you hold it like this and go to town. So, got the enforcer. I have two rival Apollos. I believe these are called Apollos. Is it even written on here? Yeah, Apollo. See Apollos, you just cock these back here. They shoot rival rounds. Got a release down here. Got your magazine. Got a blue one, a red one. I think I have another blue one sitting around here somewhere. I have the Zeus, the rival Zeus. This one's called the Zeus, I do believe. So this has a clip here, which kind of, I don't know, it's kind of weird to put in. It's hard to put in there, but I think it's 12 shots. Um, electronic. And this is a semi-auto fire, I believe. So I got that one. I have the rival. Which one is this? I don't remember what this one's actually called. Uh, I don't know, but it, it actually shoots two at the same time so each time you cock it loads up and it shoots too it's also really loud then i've got some arrival ammo here i have not a strong arm which one is a specter specter came before a strong arm this comes out here load it up cock it fire and i have a box full of clips, clips and stuff that I can use. That's everything that's in that box. This box I have some attachments. These actually go on the Spectre. So I have this stock attachment for the Spectre. Comes back like this. Then I have the barrel attachment, which is kind of difficult to put on sometimes, but barrel attachment it goes on the Spectres. I got those. I actually got that thrifting for four bucks. I have the Zombie Strike. Which one's this one called? Hammer Shot. Hammer Shot. A lot of people like the Hammer Shot because you can cock it with one hand. Well, maybe. And shoot it. I'm not going to load it. Hammer Shot. I have this one. I got three bucks. Alpha Trooper CS6. This is a uh, pump fire. You got to pump it back to drop out the mag. So this will hold help. whatever mags you have. Shoots. And when you pump it back, you got your jam to with it. So I got that one a couple days ago. This one's a lot of fun. The Duminator. This is another Zombie Strike one. This holds uh, 4, 8, 12, 24 shots. You shoot, it rotates. Um, let's see, so you cock it, shoots. I don't know if you can see it, but that's spinning each time. Once that's empty, pull this. You get that nice rotation. Have at it again. This seems like a lot of fun. I got that one, Duminator. I have 
the Adventure Force Aeon Pro. I got this one new. Paid for it, $25. It's really powerful. It's about 150 FPS. It's just spring action. You can use... Well, I'll try to have to talk to get that out. It has an adapter for it so that you can do short darts or regular darts. Because this will take the regular magazines. At least for both. And like I said, it shoots a lot, so I want to actually, I don't really want to dry fire it, so I'm covering it up. I have a strong arm. Don't just have one strong arm. I have another strong arm. Don't just have two strong arms. I have three strong arms. All the same, except for this one I'm modded so that I can uh, take the barrel out. You load up the barrel, put it back in, you're good. You can also switch bullets like that, switch barrels. Normally, it just has the regular barrel like that. You can't take it out. So I've got that, and I have not one, but two modulus. These are fly, flywheel powered. One of these I rewired, let's see. I can tell by the click. One of them is rewired and has some of the safeties taken out. I think this one's stock. Also, missing battery covers. I need to 3D print, th 3D print those. But this one I rewired and took out the safety so I don't have to like have it cocked and everything to take the magazine out. So I got two modulus. Uh, what are these like? I think these are called like ES10s or something. I don't know. It's a modulus one. It's got this tactical rail on the top. Flywheel powered. And then have another Apollo, blue one. So that's the same thing as what showed you before. I have a tripod stand for the modulus. So you can take this, attach it here. You get yourself a little stand to be all tactical with. And then I have the finisher. This is basically the Kronos, which I don't have a Kronos. I want to get one. It's basically a Kronos, except for it's got this mag, so you don't have to do little manual reloads in the top. But it just cocks, fires, and it's got this special mag that you can like load here. But let's be honest, nobody ever does that. It takes the regular mags as well. Uh, but this mag won't work in the Apollos. Then the last, no, not the last one, second to last one, Commander Elite 2.0. Uh, this one is kind of like the new, what is new strong arm, but you can't really open these up. There's one thing the modders don't really like about these, like this, you got screws on it, and then it has, um, it's welded. I don't know what it's called. It's like some sort of welding. You have to technically break it to get it open. But I think it's just a blaster on its own. It's pretty cool, you know. But it was the first one I bought. Bought it for $15 at the store. Last gun. Give me a second. I got to stand up. Get away. I'm all tangled up on all these cables. Let me go grab it. Is the long shot. Long strike is long shot. This is zombie. The zombie version, long shot, uh, CS6, something like that. I don't know. Long shot has a stock back here you can adjust to your liking. You can see they're just up or down. It only has the one release on this side since I'm left handed. That can be a pain in the butt. Uh, it didn't come with the, the priming bar. So I put a screw in there, put a dowel rod around it, and wrapped it. Made my own priming bar. Has a Jam door here. Like I said, the release is over here. So I have to use my other hand to get it out. And it takes any of your mags. And I can actually get the mag back in better if I unprime it. Yep. And it shoots. I actually got a worker set, which I'll show you real quick in a second. Uh, this takes another mag here. It just holds it. But I got a worker. I ordered from Out of Darts. Worker. Kit for this, it's got a spring. I don't remember how strong the spring is. I think it's like nine kilograms, something like that. 
let's see. Nine kilogram long shot spring. So this comes with stopper, spring, and some more lubricant. Got that, I'll put that in. I'm probably gonna make a video uh, unboxing, showing that, putting that in there. We got that from Out of Darts for, I don't even know how much. I got that and then I got five K26 springs for like $24, something like that. It wasn't cheap, but I got them. Then those are all the actual guns I have. I'm actually working on building my own blasters. I have a pistol I'm working on right here. It has no handle. Well, it doesn't have a your handle or trigger yet, but I'm working on it. This will actually come off if I pull it. Oh, it well, there it goes, because it's not attached. I just got this today. But it's just gonna be a little pistol. Got a spring in there. And then the last thing is this. It's the other one I'm building. Prime's up here, locks down here. It's just a pistol, or um, just a rifle. Surprisingly, that didn't, uh, oh, well, I guess it doesn't hit because the way I made it. But this one shoots pretty good. I'm still working on it. Probably going to do some live streaming of modding this. We're working on this. Uh, so when I build this, oh, come on. Uh, this has like a dowel rod in it and stuff, and I'm going to cut this open, remove some weight there, and move the dowel rod. And it should make it fire a little bit better. So that is my current collection. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm going to be making lots more Nerf content because I got into it a few weeks ago and I really like it. I like thrifting, I like, because I used to yard sell a lot, I like thrifting, I like building stuff, modding, that sort of thing. I'm going to get all this cleaned up. I've made a mess. And I'll see you all later.